Oh, daggum. Oil right there. Oh, gosh. Fast scrap it right there. Holy cow. Texas morning with the armadillos roaming around and the white tail. Come on, baby. It's my last morning here at the lake. Got to capitalize on top water, so it's early. That's what I got tied on. Let's go give it some pops. Ooh, it down. There you go, right in the alley. The first cast. Big main lake point. Boulders. I haven't fished the spot yet, but it looks pretty tasty. Oh, daggum. Oil right there. Oh, gosh. Bass just grabbed it right there. Holy cow. Multiple bass. These are largemouth schooling right here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Big one grabbed it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. There's a bigger one trying to get it. Holy moly, guys. A bigger one just tried to grab that. Oh my gosh, I think I got him now. I think I got two of them. No, no, it's, I think, oh my. Is this the same fish I hooked? I guess so. Oh my gosh. School of largemouth came up. <laughs> that was fantastic. Ah, oh, nice fish. <laughs> that might be one of my biggest largemouths of the week. Gosh, that was weird. I think I had a smaller one on. I might have upgraded, guys. I don't know. I know one thing. I need to get back in there. What a creep. That's so crazy. Like, I fished a bank for 30 minutes. No bite. And then just freaking awesome. Blast in that top water, y'all. It's almost like as soon as I threw that top water too, it activated fish to start coming up to the top. I like that sound. Let's see, buddy. Have a good day. Good Texas day. They could have been chasing a small school of shad. I just showed up at the right moment too. Get them activated with a little, little rod swish. Oh, large, you got it. Oh, yeah. Smashed it a little deeper. Oh. Good morning, buddy. How are you? Good morning, sir. It's working that thing slow. Slow and steady. God, that is fun. I'm gonna get me a couple more of these, y'all. I've gotta pack up my camp, but it, I mean, it's, it's all, I wanna almost say pointless to fish during the middle of the day, but if you can catch fish like this just in the first hour or two of the day while they're activated feeding, it is very, very tough. Middle of the day, full moon in the summer. Got, we got feeders on top. That's good. Couldn't catch a daggum one of these things last night. Yeah, 
And here they are. When I really needed you to come through, my friend, you were not there for me. You were not there in my hungriest moments. And apparently we got shad here, white bass here. Ooh, just saw one. Get busted back there by that brush. Big sloppy largemouth eating shallow bluegill summertime. Give me a little bloop bloop. I should have a soundtrack of soundisms. Fishing soundisms. Oh my, just look at them. Just look at them going. I'm just gonna knock one in the head real quick. Get a little something going here. Keep that line stretched. Right there in the pocket, come on. Oh yeah, yeah. Old Bloopy was there. Ugh. Not a big one. So he was up in there. Where you should be. Oof. Got your striped cousins back here. Oh god, big, big bass on the bank right there. Oh my god, just settle down so I can unhook you and catch this bigger one. Don't know if I have enough time let you go I mean right here on this bank a dandy well y'all that sun is starting to get high and that means it is high time for me to head in and pack up camp I've just learned once it starts getting hot out here whoosh, buddy they go deep and honker down but I've just been made aware I have a package back at the treehouse that contains something I've been waiting on for weeks coming from Canada it's uh you know it's been held up in customs and um, it's really really special I want to see it with my bare eyes close up because I think it holds the key to quite possibly my first tattoo ever so it's been a beautiful outdoor morning out here but let's go pack up camp and head back to the treehouse and see what we got trees and the AC ladies and gentlemen it feels good to get back to my girls my flock I guess a bunch of them are my girls too just a whole lot of girls around here and on the way back I got a phone call saying something I ordered for my truck is finally here as well so I've already gone and I've dumped my truck cap off so before I unbox the artwork for my tattoo just look at my truck for a second look at this thing without the cap on it man it is looking good it's looking awesome, man. It almost kind of looks like a, uh, like a, has like a raptor feel with those big fender flares in the back without the cap on. Silverado, just looking tasty right now. So video coming soon on not just one, but a couple of new additions going on to the adventure wagon. Girls, calm down. They've been laying eggs like crazy since I've been gone too. Let's head on into the fish cave. Oh, OSG, thank you so much. You should let me know I was here. I gotta get your opinion on this in uh, just a second. This package comes from Jeremy Zettler. He is a artist. Uh, he's up in Canada. Unfortunately, with the whole COVID thing, this, this package is taking forever to get here uh, with the whole border holdup situation. But let's, let's get in here because it holds the key. To my first tattoo ever, eh? Me! Eh? So the reason, the, the, the way this came about, I was kind of tossed around the idea. I was like, you know what would be really cool? Like a tattoo of a crappie. I just think they're a beautiful creature. Uh, one, of, one of the awesome looking freshwater creatures that we have, including the largemouth bass, but I especially just love the, uh, in particular, the black crappie. I think they're beautiful. And we were doing a video on Guggen Squad crappie fishing and uh, I just threw it out there, like, if you, if you guys want me to get a crappie tattoo, you gotta smash that like button. I think I said 10,000 likes. It got way more than that, so thank you guys, all you Guggen Squad fans. Well, say, saying thank you for smashing the like button, but really you probably just want to see me get the tattoo. So now I have to hold to that, because there's way more than 10,000 likes on that video. I don't even know what it has, but oh my gosh. It's ridiculous. So Jeremy reached out after that video and he said, hey, I wanna do this tattoo. And I was like, hold up, brother. 
let me just see what you're working with here. You know, I don't want to end up with finding Nemo uh, on my body here. So I was like, draw me something up. At the very least, I would love to have a crappie, like hand-drawn art piece in my fish cave in here. So he drew me something up. I was expecting like something kind of average. And he sent me a picture of it like halfway drawn. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. So this is going to be the full feature. Okay, we got a, oh, we got, oh, oh, he has his own sticker. He has a sticker in the form of a adult beverage can. I think you know which one that is. That is pretty cool, man. Like I said, he's an artist, so he does drawings and all sorts of stuff. We got a note in here. It says, hope this drawing made it here okay. Been a fan for a long time, and I hope you can make it up here and, and get tattooed one day. So hopefully we can make that happen. Wishing you and your family the best. Jeremy Zettler. Jeremy, thank you. Okay, let's get into the goods here. I want to be very careful. The prize piece. <laughs> oh my gosh, honey, this is ridiculously good, y'all. Whoa! Look at that. Oh my goodness. Did he just hand draw that? Hand drew that. Yeah, he sent me a picture of when it was halfway done. And I was like, that is beautiful. And this is the full piece. I think that's just uh, I, I need like a pencil. close up view of this. Is that not incredible? Is that not incredible? Okay, I'm looking for like some real estate on your walls here. Right? We have to get this frame, that's honey. I'm gonna, I'm gonna charge you with that task. I can do to that. Finding the right frame. Jeremy, I would say you are more than worthy of putting the first tattoo I ever have on my body. I gotta find a way to get up there, man. Make a fishing trip and get this done. I mean, guys, that is incredible. That is the best artwork of a crappie I've ever seen, period, period. I mean, Google some, this is incredible. So uh, I will link Jeremy's Instagram down below where you can go check him out, check out his, uh, his outdoor artwork, all of his stuff. I mean, gosh, that is awesome. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Gorgeous. I think it is settled, ladies and gentlemen. OSG approved. 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 Tattoo in her arm right here, okay? And then bass maybe eventually right here. Maybe make every cast count. Bass, crappie, double sniff. Come on now. Big shout out to Jeremy again for uh, sending me that. I mean, I can't wait for this whole COVID thing to blow over so I can get up there and go fishing and some of that great Canadian water and, uh, and hook up with, with him and go to his tattoo parlor. I think that we're gonna make that a Guggen Squad video whenever we get that worked out. So you guys make sure to stay tuned for that. And fun is over for today. We're back home, it's time to do honeydews. Time to go you on know, a date. Earn my points, go on dates, all that fun stuff. But I do enjoy my time in the woods, you know. I like enjoying my time in the woods and on the water and then coming back to my, my beautiful wife and family. It is, it is nice. Having. It's a good balance. I like that balance. So thank you guys uh, for tuning in today. Uh, if you want to stay tuned for more outdoor videos, you know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more here at the Treehouse, chickens, family, all that good stuff, Lake Life Family Channel link down below. Go give my boy Jeremy a follow on Instagram and I'm wishing you the best in all of your outdoor adventures. God bless you. See you soon.